All right, back to Carcosa. Our main fighter is starting with two remaining sanity as we get into what should normally be the second to last scenario. But I get the feeling it's going to be the last scenario. Here, Black Stores Rise. Let's go. Let's shuffle these up a bit, shall we? Because we are undoubtedly going to have to get rid of one. Uh, Black Stores Rise. The island commune of Mont Saint Michael li lies off the northwestern coast of France. It is beautiful, elegant, and enigmatic. A place out of a fairy tale or a nightmare. Well, a lot of the old fairy tales have really grim, so I guess I guess we're living up to that expectation, right? Anyway, only this is a tale. Only this tale is one of horrors and madness. You can say that again. Only this tale is one of horrors and madness. Ha <laughs> ha. During low tide, you would be able to reach the island on foot by crossing the tidal causeway that emerges from the sea. However, by the time you reach the coast, the tide is much higher than you'd anticipated. Dark clouds cover the sky, and a distant crash of thunder signals the start of the oncoming storm. You find a boat whose captain is willing to take you to the island and prepare for the ritual to come. We do not have Ashley's in, uh, information, so we skip the setup. Yada yada yada. Be aware. Okay. Basically, so we add another minus five because because we're doing so well, we are doing so well that we are going to add a minus five to the chaos bag. Perfect, perfect. Uh, sort each copy of the following cards into separate piles. Okay, you should have two piles. Flip each pile over. Okay, this does the randomizer, I believe. Let's just shuffle this. Shuffle the bag, draw one of the two bags, and alter place. Discard the other chest. Do not flip agenda cords, less destruct. Okay. Hovering over in TTS helps a lot. Place. And then we're just going to throw this away. Okay, just like we're going to do with the campaign. <laughs> Each of our scare searches the color. We add another weakness? Hiya. Okay. okay. Where do we start? Each of our begins play a Port de la Avalanche. I should have known. It's the furthest one down there. So, we each get another Madness Pack, Cultist, or Detective. Good lord. Uh, that's none. This is a madness. It said madness, right? Correct. So, uh, panic can be he he after you take a play and gain a resource action. You cannot. That's that's fine for Rex. And Leo, what does Leo get? Whoa, not all of them. God, monster. Nope. That's a pact. Draw the top core of your deck. If it's not a weakness, remove that core from the game and search your deck, discord pile, hand, and play areas for each copy. Oh, that's slightly annoying. I swear, if this pulls the sledgehammer, I'm just going to auto-concede. Shuffle the remainder of the cores to build the encounter deck. Done. Then, dual agendas. During this scenario, there are two agenda decks. One represents a means for you and your allies to open the path to Carcosa, name drop, and leads to one of the two set-aside act cards. The other represents a means for uh, to escape into our world and spells demise for Earth. When playing this scenario, while there are two agenda decks in play, players must observe the following additional rules. Whenever one or more Doom is placed on the current agenda, the players may decide which of the two agendas to place uh, the Doom on. Doom on cards other than the two agendas, such as enemies, locations, access, assets, count towards the Doom threshold to both. When one agenda advances, Doom on the other is not removed. All other Doom is removed. If the Doom threshold of both agendas are satisfied during the check Doom threshold step of the Methodos phase, choose only one to advance. Then once you have completed advancing the agenda, check the Doom threshold of the other agenda and advance if the Doom threshold is still satisfied. Let's go. Okay, so we are starting. Let me get into the mulligans. Oh wait, first let's let's do the acts, huh? Agenda one A. The tide rises. 
Your boat docks at Port de Alavance, but with the rising tide and torrential rain flooding the streets, the boat's captain isn't keen on sticking around. He tells you he will come back for you in the morning. You tell him not to bother. You probably won't be around, but ain't that the truth. We're going to be dead. Uh, five Doom. The investigators may spend two clues as a group. Place one Doom on this agenda. This effect can cause the agenda to advance. Each investigator gains two resources, group them at once per round. And the other one, the ritual begins. Dark storm clouds swirl overhead. A vortex of eldritch energy rages in the center of the storm. The ritual has begun. The gate may appear above the abbey or below it. You must choose which route to pursue and reach the gate before yeah, agents do. The investigate and this is the same thing. Doom thrive. Okay. What is going to... Okay. One represents the means for you and your allies to open the path to Kirkosa. Uh, whatever. So, mulligans. Uh, we get an Eon chart, which is nice. Two Dr. Milans, which is very good. No, we don't We don't need two Milans. We don't need a scavenging. I don't think we need this just yet. Do I want the Eon chart? Uh, probably not. One. Okay, we get, okay, the weakness, which goes away. And we get another scavenging. We get crafty, which is nice. Perception, okay, this is a pretty decent hand. Not saying I'm going to win this scenario, but it's a decent hand. Uh, we get a good Leo and a guard dog. <sighs> I need I need the sledgehammer, but I also need Leo just so I can get some soak. Ah. And we get double Leo. I mean, I mean it's fine, be, kind of fine because when we play the one, if we get our weakness, we don't have to lose it. We can just destroy the Leo in hand. Okay, let's start. Uh, we're going to act like uh, the ritual begins. Is or should I just play it safe and just split it evenly? I guess we'll play it safe and split it. E no, we're, we're, we're not winning this scenario. All or nothing. You know what? Let's let fate decide. We are letting fate, Lady Luck, take the wheel. Come on. Why is it loading, lagging so badly? Oh, God. Is this thing going to crash? Okay, that took an amazing long time. Odds, we just hard run the tide rises. Evens, the ritual begins. Odds, so we are going to try to pump up the tide rises as fast as we can. Assuming that is the right one. Assuming, there is a way you can tell which one is later in the scenario. And if it's... If I find out that it's not the tie rises, we'll pivot immediately. But until then, we're just going to hard run this agenda. So let us go. We are starting the port. The gateway serves as an entrance to the Grand Rue during the high tide when a boat is the only means of reaching the city. Uh, three shroud, two clues. Two, as a double action, move one doom from one agenda, deck to the other. Then place two clues on the port from the token bank. Yeah, that's whatever. Who do we want to go first? Um, we're gonna let. I would have to use two resources because he doesn't get the deduction right now. We're gonna hold off on one turn for that, I think. So we're going to put down a Relentless. We're going to... Dare I draw a card? I'm going to gain one resource because assuming I get my Sledgehammer, I'm going to need more resources after this. And we're going to explore the a bit the Grand Rue. Mount St. Michael's main road course around the Abbey, lined with shops and homes for fishermen and farmers. One. After you succeed at a skill test by one or less while investigating, Place one Doom on the agenda with the most Doom. If they are tied, uh, choose one. Okay, so that is Leo done. Next Rex. Do we need clues for anything? We need six clues as a group to enter the Abbey Church. Okay, so let's get some clues, shall we? 
Rex is currently up one to this test. Uh, we're going to play out one, two, three, four, Dr. Milan. So now we are up two to this test. That seems, that seems okay to start. X is the number of locate. That's the wrong card. X is the highest amount of doom. Okay, so it's zero, so we get a clue. Okay, starting off strong. And we'll tap Milan to get the resource, because why not? And I don't have any of these things, right? No, not yet. So yeah, I'll just investigate again up to... We'll hold on to scavenging until we actually get an item, either in play or the Discord. The hell is this? Minus two. Hey, easy. If you fail searching, that would have been bad. Okay. And we did it. So, no enemies in play, so upkeep. Rex gets another crafty. That's probably redundant. Leo gets... I swear, if he would have gotten his weakness, I would have fucking had a seizure. Anyway, uh, Doom, we are popping off on the tie rises. So, encounters. Rex gets. What? I thought we removed him in the last scenario. Uh, the man in pal mask, we're going to search the deck and set to the side out of it. No, I guess not. He's still supposed to be here. Where? And I deleted it too, didn't I? I'll be right back. Got it. So, the play, if the man in pal mask not in play, search him, bear deck, and discard pal, draw him and shuffle his bear's deck. Okay. Whoop. So. Uh, this gets the score. Where he, does he go? He goes as far away as possible. That's fine. We're probably not going to worry about you f for anyway. And Leo gets... Ancient... E well, that's fine. We're trying to get this thing up. Uh, this is wrong. It's fine. We'll figure it out. So, Orphes. Uh, we're going to let Leo go first. So... His first action for four. One, two, three, four. Put out a Leo. That's not even an action because he's so cool. Next, we're going to draw because we need we need that sledgehammer. Mitch Brown is also nice. But we're going to keep drawing until we get a sledgehammer. Vicious Blow is okay. Four, five, six. Draw again. <sighs> Fine, and we're just going to keep... Exp Actually, he's okay at investigating. He could probably get this location. Okay, we'll do that. We'll investigate two up. Got a clue. Good job, Leo. And now it is Rex's turn. Rex is going to... Uh, first action, move up. Oh, he had to, uh, because of the ability, he would have had to place a Doom on the thing. So we're just going to put a Doom on the thing. Uh, next. Um, so Rex can investigate up like a billion. Let's do it. Minus to, is still succeed. Success is a success. Gain one money. And... I know there are some locations here that are really bad to end your turn in. So we're just going to play a crafty for our last turn. Even though we don't have anything to use those resources for, it's probably fine. Upkeep. Rex gets preposterous sketches. Okay. Leo gets prepared for the worst. Okay. Okay. Doom goes up to four. Encounters. Spires or Carcosa. Okay. Attach your location. If there's no Doom on attached location, discard it. That's fine. Uh, 
Okay. And I mean, who cares? This, if there's no, there is a lot of doom in play. Test will, we're X amount of doom in play. I mean, that's probably, if I lose, prepare for the worst, it's going to be so annoying. So we're up five, six, we're down two. I think we're just going to fail, so down two. Down two. Yeah, we we lost that. So to score two cards at random. I swear to God. Vicious blood. It could be better, could be worse. Prepared for the worst. Uh oh. How did that auto to the white one? The only cord I really wanted is the one that got discarded. We're gonna let we're gonna let Leo go first. Let him explore a bit. Oh my god! One to move up into the broken steps. Bolts of lightning silhouette the abbey above. A path of long winding steps leads up the hill, branching down to multiple routes as you draw nearer to the abbey. Force, after you enter, you must either lose one action or draw the topmost omen treachery in the encounter discard pile. Is there an omen treachery? There is. Ancient evils. Um, we're just going to lose an action, I think. As much as I want to just pop this open, let's go a little bit slowly. Uh, so second action, we're going to go here. To the North Tower. The North Tower along the outer wall overlooks the town on one side and the tumultuous waters on the other. Freezing rain has made this path slippery and dangerous to follow. While the current A agenda has more doom on it than the current C agenda, it does. Reduce the difficulty to each skill test here by one. That's nice. So it's only a shroud three. And last action, we're just going to draw a card. Overpower, that's that's fine. And then Rex's turn. Rex is going to first action he's gonna move. Can do that for that, that's nice. To move to the last place, the outer wall. The outer wall of the city defends it from the wrath of the tides and also from conquering invaders. While the current C agenda has more it does not. Double the number of skill icons and cores committed to the skill test. Okay. Both of these are victory one. We need to get one of these. We're currently one up. I'm going to do preposterous sketches using the things on crafty. Okay. That's nice. Do I save it for the easier locations or do I just rip it now? I'd be at five, six, seven to four, up three. Yellow, let's do it. Got it. We got both the clues. Oh, and I wasted my thing. Whatever. And that is that. Uh, no enemies and upkeep. Rex gets. Claps to the Blast Onyx. That's probably fine. Rex gets another Relentless. Okay, Doom advances. So this gets discarded now. Because it does remove all the Doom. So. The tide continues to rise rapidly. The outer walls of the village assaulted by hurricane force winds and freezing rain. The storm only grows in intensity as the evening turns into night. Soon the tide water will completely flood the city. Shuffle the encounter discard pile and both set aside copies of Tidal Terror into the encounter deck. Look at all the set aside junk in here. Okay, check the current C agenda. Okay. If Agenda 1C has two or fewer Doom on it, mark one conviction in your campaign log. Okay. We are a conviction. Done. 
Agenda deck, let the storm rage. Uh, the angry sea continues to barrage the island. Waves crash atop the walls and rain pelts the rooftops. If the rising sea is the rising key, the sea to opening the path. If so, you have no choice but to let the storm rages on. Each copy of Ancient Evil gains surge. The investigators may spend two doom as a group. Yada yada. Each investigator gains two resources. Okay. So, encounters. Rex gets. Black stores. Right. Hey, title drop. Test for book. If you fail, you must either place one doom on the current agenda or take one horror. I mean, I don't care. We're currently up one, so we're just going to do it. We succeed. Rex. Leo gets. There actually is no doom in play, so this gain surge. <laughs> Another one. We're down one. And we have nothing really to commit, so we're just going to be down one. We lose one. We must either place one doom on the current agenda or take a heart. We're going to place a doom on the current agenda. And now it is our phase. Uh, everybody... Yeah, because Leo picked up one, we both have to be here. So, because Rex is the clue getter, we'll let Leo go first. So, one, we lose two to get in here. And then, are we just going to double draw? I think we have to. We need a sledgehammer. One, honed instinct. Two, another honed instinct. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to discard. I'm going to have to discard two cards at the end of this round. And then Rex goes. Rex is going to go one, which takes two actions. And two to move into the Abbey Church. You'll have to find a path not blocked by debris and rubble in order to reach the Abbey. Well, we managed to find it. If there are two genders in play with different agenda numbers, Abbey Shroud gets plus two Shroud. Why? Forest, when Abbey Church is revealed, put the set aside Choir Gothic Knights Hall. Okay, we cannot enter the Chapel of St. Albert until we have found a guide. I believe the guide is up here. But that is it for that turn because all this junk. So no enemies, upkeep. Next gets a flashlight. That's nice. Leo gets a cigarette case. We have to discard two. I don't think we're doing these anytime soon. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, Doom goes to two. And encounters. Rex gets an enemy. That's annoying. Leo gets test six. If you fail, reveal the top X cards in the encounter deck for X is the amount you fail by. Oh. My lord. He has one. And he just has to do it. Plus one. So we fail by four. So reveal the top four cores of the encounter deck. Um, there was no Biaki enemy reveal, which is nice. If at least one omen treachery. Yeah, a bunch of... Every omen was done. Take one horror. So he's one horror away from death. And then these go back in and shuffle. Yep. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. i put the one horror on Leo. That's what he's here for. Okay, or phase. Um, We're going to let Leo go first. One action, he's going to move in. Uh, second action, he's going to engage so he doesn't kill him. Then we're going to attack with... Did I get rid of a vicious blow? It got discarded. Hi, uh, okay, we're not going to engage. We're attacking. We're currently up to... Up three, up four. Got it. That's one damage. We draw a core for that. Guard dog is nice. 
Okay, next we're going to attack again. We're up one, two. I can't discard this because if we discard, if we draw their thing, it's just game over. Up one. Up two. Up three. That's the amount of doom, which is two, so it does succeed. Okay. And last, we're just going one, two, three. Play our guard dog. We have charisma, so we can have two allies. Exhaust this. Engage it. It attacks me. I'm going to take the damage, put the horror on this thing, which makes a reaction deal one damage to the attack an enemy. It's dead. Then we're going to fast out a glory to get two cards. Haste and overpower. I mean, that could be better, could be worse. And now it is Rex's turn. Rex is going to, well, we're going to move up because this is, this shroud is in, unbelievable and like, who cares? Victory points, we're not getting victories. Cloister. The open arcade of the cloister is normally restricted to the monasteries, monks, and religious leaders, but with the abbey seemingly abandoned, it takes little effort for you to sneak in your way. If there are no clues on Cloister, poor lay. Test three will. If you succeed, remember that you found a guide. Okay. A lone monk patrols the covered walk, surrounding himself in whispered prayer. He doesn't seem to notice the storm threatening to tear down the abbey. Okay. So that was one action. Uh, we're just up three to this investigate. I think we're going to play the burglary. And then we're going to investigate on the burglary up three. So if I succeed by two or more, I still get a clue. Let's do it. Hey! I gain three resources. One, two, three. I am not going to choose to fail. And I get a clue. And tap him to do resources. Okay, that is it. Still no enemies. Upkeep. Rex gets a guts. That'll be good for the poor lay. Leo gets. Okay. If you have... We have more conviction. Test will X, where X is the thing. So three, we're currently up one. We'll be up two. Zero, we don't take any damage. Even though I'm not terribly worried about dying by damage, but it is whatever. Doom goes to three out of five. No, six. And encounters. Rex gets. Ancient evils. Doesn't this thing do something with ancient evils? It gains surge. Why? Spawn. Okay. Portly avalanche. Or chap. I'm not putting it in the chapel. Are you insane? Okay. And Leo gets a swift biaki. It's fine. It's fine. So, Orphes. Um, we're going to try to punch it up two, up three, up four. We got it. Deal with damage. Gain a card. Where are my no weapons in the top half of my deck? Over top half. We're going to try to punch it again up to at least none of these really matter care too much. Okay. So up to that's a fail. Do it again up to got it. So. Do I kill the Biaki or does the Biaki kill the guard dog? And the guard dog kills that. Uh, up two. Up three. So the guard dog is going to. You served me well. Okay, now Rex's turn. Rex is again. Okay. Um. We're just going to investigate up three. Probably fine. 
Minus two. We get it. Gain a thing because of Dr. Milan. Then we're going to attempt to parlay. We're currently even up to. I can only be up to. Please, please, please. Hey, we found a guide. So now we have opened the chapel. Okay. And last action, he's just going to go down to hopefully open this and see if we did good. So this thing is going to attack the guard dog. It dies, but it still gets the reaction off. At least I'm 90% sure it does. Which kills this. Okay, so no enemies left. Oh, wait, we have one. The Tidal Terror. Boom. Upkeep. Divination. That's pretty good. Leo gets an enchanted. We finally get a weapon. All right. It's not the weapon we want, but it's the weapon we deserve or some, something stupid like that. Doom goes to five. Rex gets. That's terrifying. I mean, he might be. No, he, he can't. If he does the other crafty, he might be actually be able to evade this thing. And inquiry mine. That should be fine. Does it hunt? It does not hunt. Okay. Leo gets. Test three. <laughs> We're going to fail. We're down two. We're down two. We're down a whole lot. If Agenda 1A is in play, no. Two A's in play. If two A's in play, take two damage and lose two actions. Ow. I want to go on Leo. Okay, so Orphase. Which means we're not going to be... Uh, we have to let him go first. So we're currently up. One to the evade. Two, three, four. Let's just do it. Elder sign. We succeed. This gets evaded. And let us see if this was the right choice. The Chapel of St. Albert. Waves crash violently upon the rocks. The chapel stands lonely against the rain, barely able to survive the storm's onslaught. Ch the path is open. This is the right path. The, the, the rain one is the right path. How about that? You can only discover clues in the Chapel of St. Albert if you have three or fewer remaining sanity. Well, <laughs> Leo can get all the clues. Use the things on Crafty plus one to play the flashlight so we can just start to prepare to get that. And then Leo's turn. He's going to move. And he's going to... He can't even play it because he's so poor. Oh, this is going to be horrid. He's going to gain a resource for his last action. Okay, enemy phase. This thing's going to hunt. It is dangerously close. Upkeep. <sighs> Overzealous. Draw the top card. It gains surge. Test three. So he's currently even. Nothing to commit. Nothing I really want to commit. Minus one. Two agenda is in place. So take two damage and lose two actions. Thank you for that. And then Leo. Wait, did I put the Doom on? I did not. Check the tape. I have the attention span of a gnat. That wasn't for the Doom. That was for Overzealous. Okay. So we did that, and then it gained Surge. Omen, test three if you fail. Well, it's probably going to fail up. Even. Up even. Minus three. So, 
one C is in play, so take a whore and discard one card from hand. Not random, so I can't get rid of the onyx. I guess scavenging? Maybe the other crafty? Let's get rid of the other crafty. Okay. Now it's time for... Now Leo gets his upkeep. <laughs> Discard all your resources. So now he's going to have a hard time playing that weapon he just got. Doom advances. The path to Carcosa. The ritual is almost complete. All that is left is to find the gate and step through it. Move the remainder of this agenda deck from the game and replace it with the set aside Act 3A chord. Advance to that Act chord. Okay, open the path below. Tidewater churns around the walls of the city. Layers of reality unfold. Reflected in the depths below, you can see the twisted spires of Carcosa. You have no choice but to dive in. If each undefeated investigator is at Saint Chapel of St. Albert and there are no clues on that location, advance. Holy crap, we might actually be able to do this. Not this turn, obviously, because Rex has nothing. So encounters. Rex gets spawn in the empty location. That's fine. We'll just throw you over here because we are not going to chase you down. What is this? Did I draw that for the fake out? I think I did. Draw. Check the tape. I did draw that for the mess up. So we're going to hold on to that. So, if the Man of Pallet Mask is in play, he attacks each investigator in player order regardless of his current location. Which is one horror. I, I really can't afford to lose Leo, so we're just going to take the one horror itself. So, uh, that's it. Oh wait, we have to give one to Rex. We'll put you on Dr. Milan. Okay, this will be an easy turn for Rex. He's just going to take use the action to take three horror so he can hopefully investigate next round. And hopefully he can soak up all the clues. It'll be really easy for him, but, like, can he do it? And then Leo. Um, that thing advanced. So he would have done both of these things to gain two money. Okay. So now he's got four actions to do some stuff. He's currently even to any investigate he wants to do here. He's going to spend two actions to gain two money. He's going to use all the money to be up two to investigate until the end of the phase. And he's just going to go twice up to one. Nope. Two. Got one clue. That's one less thing Rex has to do. Okay. Enemy phase. This thing is very, very close. Upkeep. Rex gets... I mean, it's fine. So he's currently down one. He's just going to have to do it. Down two. If you fail, take two damage. Okay. Leo gets, watch this, that's, that's fine. Doom goes to, this is confusing me. Two out of five, and encounters, Rex gets. Place two Doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Okay, that's this dude over here. And Leo gets Spawn of Hotly. That's hopefully fine. It doesn't say unengaged. It just says if each undefeated investigator is here and there are no clues. So Rex, I really need you to succeed these three, buddy. 
You're up a bazillion. Okay, so that's one. So he's currently up four. Up five. Got a clue. Do it again. Now uh, let's do and do it again. Got another clue. Perception up six. We did it. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe this actually happened. Each undefeated investigator is at the chapel, and there are no clues on it. Doesn't say anything about monsters. There are no clues here. We will advance. We didn't die. We didn't. I don't think we got a whole lot of money, a whole lot of victory points, because frankly, I thought I was going to die. But you know what? At least we get to see Dim Corcosa. At least we get to see the last scenario. Only you can stop, nice try, from escaping his prison. You dive into the churning waters and open the path to Carcosa, the realm of madness. And thank you, D20. Like, without you. That was just, that was amazing. I was going to go for the ritual until I rolled the dice. Resolution 1. You hold your breath as you swim through freezing water towards the spires below. As you get closer, you see ripples throughout the water as though you are peering into a reflection upon the sea surface. You break through the surface and gas as air fills your lungs. In your campaign log, record that you open the path below. Um, remove all the special tokens and add two cultists and two tablets. <sighs> if Ashley Clark... No, we didn't, even get to, we didn't even get that prompt to see if Ashley Clark was going to pop up. Um, each investigator earns experience equal to victory X, which is... Not a lot, but we get like two. One. We get one XP. Let's go, boys. I, already, I used all the XP for these people. We did it. <laughs> and also, in case you were... Think I was exaggerating earlier. Um, if you do resolution three, which is no resolution was reached... Uh, each investigator isn't saying the investigators lose. So yes, this you can lose before you even get to the path one. And this is not the only scenario that that can happen. Oh well, thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed this nail-biter of an episode. And until next time, take care. Mm -hmm.